What I'd like to talk a little bit about is how health insurance works. When it comes to your average health insurance policy, there's, there's three basic principles. The first principle being deductible. Now, everyone's heard of the deductible. That's what you pay out of your pocket. That's what comes first. Normally, your deductible, $500, $1,000, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500, $1,500,
is going to get repriced through the network, through, and, and here in central Indiana, it's the Sagamore network, but wherever you are, whatever the network is, is going to reprice the $80 uh, as much as 40%. Let's say the, the $80 is going to go to $50 after it gets repriced through the, through the network. Well, now times eight, you've only spent $400 out of your pocket. My goodness. Don't take the doctor off his copay. You'll spend 400 instead of 1400 And you can take this off your deductible. You can take these expenses off your deductible. This $200 here, this does, you cannot take that off your deductible. And let's say you don't have to have a lot of doctor visits throughout the year. Let's say it's been a good year, it was a healthy year. Well, you just save the money. And you, and you don't, I mean, if you have a good year down here when you're paying the 100 bucks a month, you're still paying the $100 a month. So I'd like to talk a little bit about doctor office copays. Number five, everybody probably could guess, prescriptions. Prescriptions are I mean, it, it, pretty simple. The way most prescription plans work, you have, uh, let's say you have a, a $10 generic drug card, $25 brand name. Um, in addition to that, you may have a deductible that you have to, a, a separate deductible, a separate deductible for your prescriptions that you might have to, that might have to be met before your $10 generic drug card kicks in, before your $25 brand name drug card kicks in. You know, a, a lot of times just having a drug card on your plan might cost you $75 a month. Just to have this on your plan, whether you're on, whether you're taking any prescriptions or not. Well, what I tell my customers, especially the ones in good health, is listen, you can get your prescriptions at Walmart, at CVS. Generic prescriptions, I think the average generic prescription is $4 now. In most cases, save the money on the prescription card. You don't normally have to take this option. If, you, if you're not on a lot of prescriptions, don't take it. Save the money, buy your prescriptions yourself. If you buy them yourself, they still count towards your deductible. So these are the basics of, of, of individual health insurance. Deductible, coinsurance, lifetime maximum, doctor office copays, and prescription cards. W what I like to talk to my customers about is what is the best value? How do you save the most money? And in my opinion, unless you're going to the doctor 20 times a year, which if you are, you're probably not going to get approved for the insurance. Unless you're going a ton of times, don't take a doctor office copay. It doesn't make sense. It, it just, it's not a good value. The same thing with the prescription card. Unless you're taking a ton of prescriptions, which if you are, they're not going to accept you. Don't take the prescription card. Buy them yourself. Take them off your deductible. And I think if you follow these kind of steps and you understand how this works, you can, you can give yourself kind of the best chance of picking the best plan suitable for you. Thank you.